Hey everyone, welcome back for some good vibes and video games, and I just wanted to show you Toby! For everyone that's new to the channel from this playthrough, this is Toby Wan Kenobi, and he is my only hope. I'm just kidding, but he is the bestest boy, and he is my partner in crime, he is my co-pilot, and he is my deputy. Anyway, today we are going to be jumping back into Red Dead Redemption, and... I have so much to say about this game already, but I just want to jump back into it as soon as I can. If you want to hear all the gushing that I have about this game, please go check out the first episode in my playthrough. I discussed a lot of my favorite things about this game already, but the main thing that I cannot get over at this point is how old this game is, but yet how gorgeous it still is. The graphics are still incredible, it's a beautiful game, the world is massive, and the performance is still incredible. And then on top of it, the game is hysterical. I've had so many hilarious moments so far. The characters are so good. They're so funny. We've got to see new characters and we've also got to see old characters that we're already familiar with if you've played the second game. Obviously there's John Marston, but we also got to see Bill Williamson and that's who we are currently hunting down. But the writing in this game is seriously top notch. And before I start rambling and gushing and I said I wasn't going to do that, I'm just gonna jump in because I am so excited to keep playing this. Ready, Toby, my little potato? All right, guys, thank you so much for clicking on the video today. I hope you're ready to jump back in, because I am. Last time we just got done saving this ranch, saving the hostages, and a ton of cattle. So I think the next thing we have to do is either go talk to Bonnie or... Who's W on the map? Oh, we got Nigel West Dickens. Hmm. You know what? Since we're closer to Bonnie and I love her and I miss her already, I'm gonna go talk to her. Actually, before we go, we should probably look around and loot. Hopefully, ooh, I got so much money already. Oh my goodness. Oh, we got another chest. Oh yeah. 11 bucks. It's the magic number. All right. Um. There's another tent that I don't think I've looted. One chest per tent. Good to know. 13! Alright! Okay. So I think that's it for that. And then the chests are not marked on the map, are they? I don't think they are. Just dead bodies. And... Random events I've seen so far. But not like loot chests or anything like that. So, ooh, TNT. Gotta be careful around that. I should have used that. But then I would have maybe possibly murdered the hostages. So, not a good idea. Anyway, where's my horse? Let's go talk to Bonnie. Oh, God. Yeah, we gotta rename you. Hmm. I haven't thought of a good name yet. You kind of were a pain in my butt from the start, so I started calling you butt face, but I don't think that's very nice. Last game, I had Lord of the Rings themed horse names. Do I want to keep that up? I mean, it is my favorite movie series of all time. We had Galadriel, Sauron, Gandalf? I think I named one of them Gandalf. You know, with this horse's energy, I'm really getting a Gimli. I think I'm getting a Gimli from this horse. From now on, you shall be named Gimli, son of Gloin. Yeah. I'm dead. I'm dead. That's it. It's perfect. Bonnie! Hold up. Before we start this, ooh, I'm going to let Toby out of my lap. I think he can feel the energy of this game coming. Ooh. Wait, 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 wait. We got trouble. We got trouble. Oh, oh I'm wanted! Why don't you shoot at me instead? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I didn't know who was who. I just started this game and I'm already in trouble. This is terrible. This is terrible. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Should I just turn myself in? Just turn myself in? 
Don't even try it. You're being stupid, mister. Okay. okay. I'm sorry. You got me. Just don't take me in. No more than you already have. Take me in. One kind of assault of a law officer. I'm so sorry. I didn't know who was who. I didn't know if I should help. I frankly don't know how to not kill people in this game yet because I don't have a lasso, to be fair, okay? In my defense. That'll be my defense at the court hearing, okay? I am so sorry. I'm free. I'm a free man. Oh, man. Ah. Uh. Don't look at me like that, dog. But yeah, let's go talk to Bonnie, and we won't tell her what just happened. <laughs> I'm a new man. Turn over a new leaf. Starting now. Ah, oh, Mr. Marston, how are you? Good, oh, it could have been better. Marlin. How are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies, and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> and just what is this supposed to prove? Take the driver's seat. Come on. No, that's not a good idea. If the second game taught me anything. Approach the driver's seat. Oh, other side. Well. Is there a problem, Mr. Marston? Can we get going? Oh, jeez. You're looking much better, considering you were almost buzzard food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss. I have Yes. Not. Well, yes. that's relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, uh -huh. miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with Jeez. women. And neither one works. I'm not <sighs> even going to signify that gibberish with a response. There's so... All these people have a death wish. They're wanting to run right smack into me. I think it's kind of funny I found you dying on the side of the road and now you're driving me into town. You have a strange sense of humor. Well, you must admit, it's an unusual start to a friendship. I didn't realize we were friends, Miss McFarland. Oh, please. Ooh. Now who's being funny? Listen, I know that business with Williamson is your business, but I don't know. You've been good to us, and I don't think you're a bad man. Oh, thank stupid, you. Perhaps, but not rotten. I just worry about you gallivanting around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter. Like Paul always says, don't go waking snakes. I appreciate your concern for us lesser mortals, Miss McFarland. I really do. And if there was any other way out, I'd take it. I can assure you of that. Everyone keeps crapping on John and calling him stupid. Reminds me of an Arthur Morgan. You tell me where you live. I have a small holding up in Great Plains. A farmer? Yeah, and I'm the Queen of England. And at what point during your day of hunting down outlaws do you find time to raise no. chickens? <laughs> Only been at it three years or so. I guess I'm kind of new to it. You're telling me? So who's looking after this farm of yours right now? Uncle. Well, he's not my uncle, as far as I know. <laughs> uncle! He's as lazy as a lizard on a hot day. <laughs> That's the uncle we know. Illusion that age brings wisdom. Uh, sounds like the perfect person to leave in charge of your entire livelihood. No, good no point. Back. And I didn't have a lot of choice. I'd be getting back there if I was you. That's what I'm trying to do, miss. I cannot wait to see uncle. Oh, he better be the same, too. Oops, sorry. I'll pay for that. Is 
So this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not. <laughs> That's okay for us. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. Psh, nah. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. And I believe we paid back the $15 that we owed her. Um, I also might want to rematch with the five finger filet from last time. I made it all the way to the final round. And then I chopped all of my fingers off. Do I want to do this? I do want to do this. This is my favorite thing. <laughs> I feel like five finger filet is going to be my first favorite. Poker's going to be my second favorite. I don't know if there's any other side games. Mini, mini games. But we can't do it anyway. Damn. Who you calling a soiled dove? All right, let's go talk to the doc. The whole town needs my expertise today. <laughs> Medicine, chew tobacco, apple. Why the heck is a doctor selling chew tobacco? I mean, they probably didn't have the research back then, huh? <laughs> but here we go. Medicine for free. 35 bucks too for chew tobacco? That's crazy. Well, I feel like back then. Maybe that is right. I don't know. Can I sell anything? Coyote meat? I wonder if I can use this to craft coyote pelt. Or like use any of these to craft anything. Like what else would it be? Or cook. Can I like cook coyote meat? Raccoon meat? That's not- ooh, that just sounds disgusting. So we're gonna pass on that one anyway. And then, yeah, what about this? I want to assume that everything is just meant for selling, but... It's anything like the second game. There's probably a crafting element that I don't know about or that I haven't, like, remembered. Because I probably forgot about it already. I got stock of them electric belts if you need to lose weight. Well... Now you have insulted me and I will take my business elsewhere. You ain't getting a dime out of me, sir. Electric belt. I like beer, okay? Um, oh, stored in the satchel, so... Oh, okay, so there's consumables. Horse, horse pills. Is that for me? No, I'm sure it's not for my horse, probably, because it's called horse pills. Apple and medicine. So I can use... Um, and what about kits? Basic campsite. Pardon letter. What? Removes any accumulated bounty when turned in at a local train station. Well, that would have been nice to know earlier. Then we have provisions. So here's all of our provisions. And again, probably need to do some research on what you can use these for, if anything. I'm assuming there's a use for them and not just selling and making money. Anyway. Let's go talk to Bonnie. Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once. And the little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take a stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around <laughs> to save you this time. Ha, <laughs> uh, too late. Bye, Bonnie. Best friend. If you want to leave Armadillo, there are usually stagecoaches loading and unloading behind the freight station. Oh, cool. I'll just ride. Or I can fast travel with my camp. You can now purchase and rent properties marked with... I can purchase places! This is awesome! Like, for good? Once purchased or rented, you can save your game, and each location has a hitched horse, an extra ammunition, and items! 
Oh my god, how cool! Oh my gosh, there's a person in need of help, I think. And I can purchase new items from store because now I'm not poor. Oh. No need. No need, sir, but thank you. <laughs> Holy shit! Holy, what the hell? What the hell are you doing? This time I didn't kick you, ma'am. You're welcome. No matter bad, I won't forget what you did here. Maybe it's time to think about a different line of business. Okay. Good deeds, large and small, are noticed by the populace. Yes, oh, I got money, I got honor, and I am too scared. I don't want to loot this guy. Because whenever you looted bodies in the second game, you lost honor if you got caught. So I'm not falling for that. I ain't falling for- I hear them damn Indians have been attacking trains. Pardon me. <gasps> oh my God, my favorite thing. Let's go hustle some more money out of these people. Oh, they're not here. They probably got scared off because of the dude shooting. Wow. I kind of want to go check out some of the stores, especially the gun store. <laughs> I hate this town. <laughs> Thank you. You calling me cute? Stop feeding my ego, okay? Oh no, this head's already too big. Mm -mm. Okay, I want to go in here. I want to see if I can buy any guns. Because I have not enough. So I'm assuming to use, like, medicine and provisions and anything, I have to go into my satchel like this and then use it manually? I'm assuming. I don't really know yet. Yep, we've got the finest selection in the front here. should probably put that away. I'm sorry, sir. I did not mean to be rude. We got bait, we got bandolier, we got volcanic pistol. Oh my god, these are expensive. I can't buy this yet. Not available. Oh, a double barreled shotgun. Yes, please. What does this do? So this doubles ammo capacity on rifles and repeaters. I think I know what I'm spending my money on first. Your cash at 213. All right, I have enough. Bait for what? Attracts animals in the vicinity. Probably for hunting. So I bet you I will need carcasses for stuff. And pelts for stuff. So I want to hold on to things for right now. At least. I think. Or older model lever, lever action pistol holds more rounds in your run of the mill six shooter. I like my six shooter, so... Versatile repeating rifle from a long line of lever action weapons. Good power, range, and ammunition capacity. All right. Um, well, I'm assuming I can't. Oh, it's because it's too expensive. Okay, never mind. I definitely want, I kind of want to buy a double barreled shotgun. Not available. Rifle ammo, shotgun ammo, uh, ammo, explosive ammo. I like how just simple, simple this is to purchase. I love the catalog from the second game, but on it was a lot. It's just nice to have all this simple, simple stuff right here. So this is the hard part though. I think I do want to increase my ammo capacity now. And I unfortunately do not have enough for the shotgun. So I think increasing my ammo will be a good move for now. Because I like it being simple at the beginning of the game. We just have two guns, a knife, and our fists. And really, I think that's all we need for now. Go make some more cash. I'll be seeing you later. Oh, I just noticed. Hi? Is that the same Mister. person? <laughs> She's gone. Who? Who is? My wife. She's gone. Another missing person? She went out picking mushrooms in the hills. They're hanging rock and they got her. The stories are true. <laughs> What'd the police do about it? Oh, about as much as you'd expect. Made me fill out a form. Beryl ain't strong, but she's a good girl. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> huh. Poor guy. 
And now a skull just popped up on the map too. Well, well. I hope there's bounties. How do you do? I want a lasso so badly. Do I really not have a lasso? I don't know how else I'm going to take people in alive. Especially if there's now bounties I can do. Aww. That's really interesting. So, the last lady from last episode that was here crying and had a purple question mark. She said she lost her son. And the last time... Well, he went out to Hanging Rock as well. And all that we saw was a pile of blood, some bones, and a shoe. I don't think people have anything to do with this. Yeah. Well, let's go check it out. The Hanging Rock. What's, and then what's with all this shooting? Come on. Who the heck? I'm gonna die! Hey, you're welcome! Thank you for saving me! I have a treasure map for you! Thank you! Oh my god! Yes! Can I take the treasure now? You don't need it. You don't need it. Can I has? Has? Is that mine? Oh my goodness, hold on! Check treasure hunter. Access? But, okay. So the pause menu will show us the challenges, but how do I access the, ooh, there it is? I wonder what it's going to say. So one, two, I wonder, oh, and then there's a noose. Oh, I see. Okay, so it, it's really, really small, but there's a new. So there's a noose that you can see on the right side of the tr of the treasure map. But then I didn't see it until just now. But there's ever so slightly a noose on the tree. So the first thing I need to look out for is a big tree with some rocks with a noose hanging from it, and then I'll be able to find the second spot. But I wonder if it's around here. I would have to assume it's around here because this is where I discovered the map, but I also could be wrong. That could be very naive of me. I love... I think I found it. 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 I think I found it! Let's go over here. I want to see if this is the tree. Because it looks... Looks like it. Oh my god, am I right? <gasps> Dude, I'm right! Oh my gosh! I'm a genius. Okay, okay, okay. So, there's the rock with the tree with the noose. And then it said... Not too far from it. Would be another section of rocks. And then that would be where the treasure is. The rocks also seemed kind of large, though. I wonder if it's these ones. Hmm. Maybe it's these ones? I might have to consult the map again, but I know I'm in the right spot. Okay, maybe it's farther away than I thought. It seems like we might have to travel a little bit because there's another tree by another larger group of rocks. And I don't think I can see too many trees in this specific area. So I might have to go do some searching. Yeah. We might have to get on our horse so I can get a better vantage point. But I'm also not really positive what direction I need to go! Jeez! Gimli! What are you on? And get off of it! <laughs> Alright. So I gotta look for another... 
Just a tree that looks like that. Well, here's the spot where that guy's wife was, apparently. Come on! Ooh, yep. Yep. Another one. All that's left is blood, hat, and a bone. Oh, an arm? What the? Oh, a glove. Oh, that might be a glove. Not an arm. American Appetite. And the quest name is American Appetite. They're being eaten by something. So... Yeah, I don't want to be here anymore. Um... They probably keep coming out here and then getting attacked or mauled by something and then eaten. And I bet you it's coyotes! Or maybe a mountain lion? I don't know, but I really want to go find this treasure map. You know, I have been stumped by this treasure map for a while, and I think I'm overthinking it. I do think it is around here. Why would they make us go so far away, but then not really tell us in what direction? I think it's around here. Well, I could not tell you where it might be. And I hate the fact that there's coyotes around here. Ooh, there's a little space in between there that I can't really get to. Is there a pig around here? Okay. Oh. <gasps> I found it! I knew it! I was like, I think I'm overthinking this. Let's go. I ran around this location for the longest time. Freaking yes! Gold bar, baby! Dude! Uh, Treasure Hunter rank two! Oh my gosh. So, can I just sell it to any merchant? Or do I have to sell it to a fence, like in the, in the second game? Because only fences would accept those last time. <laughs> First gold bar! <gasps> the obsession is really setting in now. I should probably put my gun <laughs> away while I'm in town. Hi, puppy! You're a lot less energetic than the other dog. He's wanted posters to become a hunting bounty target. I want to do it! What are they doing? About to have a shootout? I heard she's a witch. A witch. She's a witch. I've heard that already. But I wanted to see what this was about. This is clearly a theater. I want to go see what they're showing. Hey, do you gotta pay? I got two dollars. Fine. I mean, fine. Thank you kindly. <laughs> this better be good. People that run this town only want to work me to death. <laughs> The dangers of doctors and patent medicines. <laughs> oh no. What torments or ails you, kind sir? My back. <gasps> oh. I've seen silent movies before, and I love- I do, I love them. Oh my god! <laughs> He's like, oh, whoops, um... You've adopted an affliction, sir? What the hell is he point- what? Tapeworms. And cholera. 
cocaine powders. <gasps> He's shitting his brains out! I hope this movie is rated appropriately. <laughs> Must avail myself of these bad humors. Oh my god! Get a room! <laughs> I was caught! That's amazing. Oh no. My lady, you are far too noble. What? She endures attempts to... I can't read that fast. I don't even know what that means. The little girl's tripping <laughs> and hallucinating. Oh. Oh. I was like, oh, good for her. She overcame her nightmares. And no, she just murdered everyone. That's fine. Yeah, I would definitely close up shop, too. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, the one thing that works. in the theater is not liking this. He's hacking. It'll kill you and leave you dead. This message brought to you by the Temperance Union and Anti-Saloon League. Oh, right. Right. There was some subliminal messaging in that one. Oh, that's so funny. That was a 10 out of 10. The, I, I very much enjoyed that. That was great viewing. Highly recommend. What? What? Are, are we really friends? If you're Slow game, down. Maybe you'd like to earn a little something searching around about for a few plans on the light on. Oh! Whichever one of us gets back here first with the right plans wins on the bet. Sure. What the hell? I'm what the hell? <gasps> Tag, you're it. No, no, no. This one's me. This one's all mine. Mine, mine, mine. Mine. Mm -mm. Nice try. Hey, get your own plant. Oh, good God. Okay, this one's closer, I think. Collect one more plant. Dude, you're going down. You're going down. I am so competitive. Do I gotta go back? Fruit stage. Go! Go! No! I win. I win. Oh, come on, the tent. Easy 30 bucks. Oh my goodness. Ooh, I'm gonna be able to afford a shotgun soon. Looks like I won. Yes. Yes. I am not a sore loser. I don't know what you're talking about. Just a friendly neighborhood, John Marston. Go! You have a good day now. Ooh, we're here. This is Nigel. Come on. Nigel West Dickens, I think. Excuse me. Oh, are you dead? Excuse me, sir. You need help? <laughs> Mister, you alive? 
Fuck, fuck, God damn it. Good heavens. <gasps> Excuse me? I said, no, I'm not okay. Do I look like I'm okay? <laughs> you look pretty good for a corpse. <laughs> Praise be. <laughs> Move up, mister. Time to get you to a doctor or an undertaker. Whichever you need once we get to town. Oh, St. Peter, open up them pearly gates. I'm coming home. <laughs> Come on, mister. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's wrong with him? Hurry, sir. I'm Eat something like bad? A badly butchered hog. You'll be oh. fine. Just focus. Where are you bleeding from? You better take the reins. I don't think I'm strong enough. <laughs> I'm finished. Done for. Just sit up straight, will you? He probably has a paper cut. He's fine. The closest doctor is in Armadillo. No, seriously, like, what's wrong with him? This is timed. Get out! I implore you to please stay on the road! Oh, sorry, what is sorry. Your name, friend? John Marston. Oh, good God! Out of the frying pan into the fire! Excuse me. How many outlaws can a man encounter in one day? I no! Can't. Come back and finish me off! Oh, crap. I wish the horse would just go. I wonder if this is the guy from the second game <laughs> in the toilet. That was the funniest thing. Oh my god, favorite part of that whole game. I don't even remember what episode it was, but... Uh, funniest thing to have ever happened. I laughed so hard. He's only got so much time. Is that Armadillo? Come on, hurry! Please drive carefully. Every pump is like getting struck by lightning. Stop moaning, old man. Be fine. Just sit and save some of your breath for breathing. Is he gonna poop himself? Yeah. Dude, if we're rushing you here because you got cramps. For Christ's sakes, man, you're gonna be fine. Can't We're nearly you there. Your arms. <laughs> We're here. Stay with me. <laughs> oh. Where the devil are we? Armadillo. Armadillo. We made it safe, you'll be happy to know. Barely. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're a gentleman and a, a true man of honor. They go hit a bathroom. Coming from you, I doubt that means much, but I appreciate the civility. I owe you, sir. <laughs> And I always pay my debts. <laughs> uh, Jesus. But if I die, I'm sorry for it. If not, I'll be your man for... for... Huh. Let's get you fixed up first. Then we'll decide what you're my man for. Oh my god, that is so funny. I do hope he's okay, though. Whatever he has. Bad appendix. I don't know. Woo! He will take some time to heal. Oh, so it looks like he must have gotten shot. Yeah. Oh, I thought I thought he just like really needed to go to the bathroom. All right. Well, what do we do next? Do I want to go purchase a house or like an apartment or a room? Rent a room? I don't know yet. That's the stagecoach there. There was a bounty. But now it's gone. But if I take on a bounty, I want to be able to like take them in alive hey, you, the chicken -headed guy. Come over here. what oh uh, you better wash your damn mouth watch you you're calling chicken head i'm dirty dan i hope so we gonna have a showdown oh yeah throw down bear that in mind sure let's Those go big words my friend <laughs> i love this game I love this game so much. Tobias. That's my dog's name. How dare you have the same name. You have accepted a duel. 
Oh. Oh, okay, 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 okay. All right. Jeez, John, I think he's dead. Holy crap. Can I, can I take his stuff, though? Like, you don't need it. I'll take that. Please don't lose honor. Please don't lose honor. Because he started it. <gasps> the blood curdling scream, though. Oh, my God. Um... Are they talking about me? Did you hear about that shootout that just happened five seconds ago? Yeah, I was there. Okay. Well, I don't think there's really anything to do right now in this town. It's the middle of the night. Maybe we should go talk to Bonnie. Ooh, we got a new question mark. And it's at the camp. I think I searched this camp at one point and there was no one here. Now there's someone here. What's this all about, huh? What brings? Well, howdy. Howdy. Excuse me, friend. Mind if I rest up at your camp a spell? That'd well, be my pleasure. Man needs a break from this desiccated land. Thank you, mister. Mm. Say, what's that stick you got there? Oh. Y'all ain't never seen a dowsing rod before, mister? Oh! Never seen a summon the water up from the bare earth? Uh, mister, uh... Marston. Ah! Interesting. No, can't say I have. Hmm. It's water you're looking for. What's wrong with that lake over there? Oh, there ain't nothing wrong with Lake Don Julio. Nothing wrong with it, but we lack the fancy irrigation equipment you folks have back east. So, man needs a wellspring on his proper tie to ranch here. Makes sense. Yeah. Why, you know, just last week, I was over at Old Pleasant's house. Now, I think I may have found something, but... Old coot that owns the place threatened to call the law down on me, so... <laughs> People act funny around strange men with sticks. <laughs> they sure do. <laughs> Damn fools. Bet you he don't even know how much water's running underneath his proper tie. Proper tie. You, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You ain't that stupid, mister. Not Thank content. you! I'll tell you what. Why don't you go get the old man to sell us his proper top for a small pittance? Then I can find the source of the water, build us a proper wellspring. Maybe I will. Okay. All right, then. <laughs> the first person to not call me stupid. But I love the way he says proper top. <laughs> oh, that that's not going to get old. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to start doing that now. Proper top. Yeah, we're here to see Bonnie. Woo! Oh my gosh, almost rode right past her, but what? What is this? Huh? Cause Bonnie's over there. Well, I want to see what this is. Why not? Follow Charlie. He's a good one to sniff out trouble. <gasps> Take Puppers! Yeah! You're the best companion. Stop all criminals you encounter by any means necessary before morning. Challenge accepted. Let's go. Come on, Charlie. Come on, Charlie. I hope I can pet you afterwards. Are we looking for people or coyotes or all of the above? Ooh, finally got something. Yo. Where's your self respect? Do I shoot them? Do I shoot you here again? You're dead. Yeah. Okay, we didn't need to shoot anybody. I did good. Okay. Excuse me? Let these guys go and they won't be back anytime soon. Okay, good. Go me? This the restraint. I am so proud of myself. I don't like the tone. You know, I'm I'm out here trying to be peaceful. Trying to build up my honor. 
And you're making it very hard not to shoot you. True enough. Yeah, easy. Easy 28 bucks. All right, Bonnie. Come back between 5 a.m. and 6 p.m. Where? I know I can sleep somewhere, right? Yeah, where's my... Where's my bed? Oh, it's probably the green house on the map. Duh. <laughs> oh boy, I'll get it. I'll get it all eventually. My cute little house. I know we can change outfits too, and I picked up an outfit. I think it was the baller outfit. And it's cool, it's like a whole suit. It'll help me get into a high stakes poker game at some point. I think when I get into a city, that's what it said. So I can't wait to see what city we get to see. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. It's great to stay up late. Good morning, good morning to you. Good morning. Good m Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Alright, let's go talk to Bonnie. Mr. Marston, I've been hearing about your plans. Have you, Miss McFarlane? Yes, from Lee Johnson. To settle here and build a life for yourself. I'm afraid those aren't my plans. See, I already have a life. Well... I had one, and I'm trying to reclaim it. Or maybe what you could say is that I had two, and I'm trying to end one of them so okay. the other can survive. Right. You do so love to talk in riddles, Mr. Marston. Do you do that? I wonder, as a substitute for having anything interesting to say? Oh. Probably, Miss McFarlane. Oh, call Ooh. me Bonnie, you fool. She likes him. Call me Bonnie. Miss McFarland, I'm married. Yeah. I have a son. <laughs> that I, I can't remember the name of. Died. Years before that, I rode in a gang. We robbed banks, trains, held people ransom. We killed people we didn't like. He had a daughter? Bill Williamson was in that gang. Now, if I don't capture my former brother in arms, great harm will befall my family. Now. I don't suppose any of this is very interesting to you, but I hope it explains why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. No, I do understand. I had no idea. You poor man. Even in this new country, memories don't really fade. My father was an illiterate Scot born on the boat into New York. He never saw his homeland, but to hear him talk about it, You'd imagine he only ever ate haggis and wore a kilt. And he hated the English for what they had done to his great-grandparents that he'd never met. People don't forget. Nothing gets forgiven. That's true. Especially when it comes to money. Yes. And you know, even now, after all his labors, my father's debts are still terrible. I worry every day about us losing the ranch. It would kill him. My father died when I was eight years old. His eyes were, well, let's just say he was blinded in a bar fight south of Chicago. My mother died during childbirth. Aww. She was a prostitute and he was her, well, I, I don't know what he was. So I was sent off to an orphanage and ran away and fell in with a gang. My word. Oh. What a difficult life you Wow. Uh, the leader of the gang taught me how to read Taught me how to see all that was good in the world. He was a Dutch. great man in a way. Dutch? But you talking about Dutch? Yep. Sure. And I've suffered for it. And that's the life I left. Or tried to leave. Ah, oh, said too much, Bonnie. I'm an uneducated killer, sent here to do all I can do well. Kill a man in cold blood so that another man may do his part to cut crime in an area. And a rich man can be elected governor on the back of these promises. <laughs> Civilization is a truly beautiful thing, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Listen, can you help me? Well, I can try. 
What do you need, money? No, nothing so complicated. I need an extra hand to take out the herd to pasture. <laughs> sure. Point me in the right direction. <laughs> I didn't know that about his past. I don't think we learned about that in the other game. I don't remember I don't remember learning anything about his parents. Right. Are you ready to learn how to herd some cows? Come on. I don't remember him having a daughter either, yeah. so I knew he had a son. Thank <laughs> you. Don't remember the name of the son. It must have been hard for you. I hope you understand now why I've been playing my cards somewhat close to my chest. I didn't know you had a wife and child. Yeah. Then again, I don't think I ever asked. Hello. They're, they're lucky to have a man like you. I ain't so sure about that, but thank you. I remember the son, but I don't remember the son's name, but I don't remember a daughter Good at all. Good to see all. you, Ms. Come on! Come on, boy! Behind the herd. Hey! Out of the pen? Okay. Oh, no, no. You get out there, too. Go on, get. Do keep the moving in a single direction. Okay. Go! Move behind the right. Okay. They're going. Look at him go. Oh! Ah. Go! You know, last game they always called John. Ugly and dumb, and I don't think he's either of those things. Yeah. I love John. Go. Also, fun fact, my first cameo was going, Mr. from, um, oh my gosh, I can't remember his name right now, but the voice actor, the actor behind John Marston. The name will come to me, but I can't think of it right now. This. They're staying so straight. You're not bad with the herd. Ranching might be your true calling, Mr. Marston. Either that, or you were a cow in a past life. Thank you, Miss McFarland. I'll see you later. I have work to do back at the ranch. Cool. Five dollars for that. Oh my goodness. All right, so we can either talk to Bonnie again or Marshall. Ooh, that's a tough one. I feel like Bonnie's just making me do housework and, and farm work, farm hand work right now. I don't know what I want to do. Should I go help this person? Sounds like, sounds like someone's in trouble. I don't know, maybe. What the heck? Watch it! Come on! Oh my goodness. Hmm. I feel like I kind of want to go talk to Bonnie again and continue on with the story because I'm I am liking it. Even though we're just doing a lot of chores right now. I also have been thinking about it, and I want to say the voice be behind John. I want to say it's like Rob. Whitehoff? I need to double check, but I'm almost positive. And if I'm right, I'm going to be so happy. Bonnie, we're back already. Slow down. <laughs> I'm positive it's Rob White. That sounds that sounds right to me. It feels right. 
I'm gonna be so happy if I actually remember that, because my memory's not very good, especially with names. Well, hello, Mr. Marston. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Did you meet my father? John Marston, this is my father, Drew McFarland. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Marston. Please. So, my daughter informs me that you're here on some secret mission to uh, remove some undesirables from the county. Mm. Something like that. I'm grateful for the hospitality, sir. Well, you know, we've lived here for 30 years now. Came here from the east. The land had never been settled. For 10 years, we fought the Indians. Tough men. And we had outlaws, and we had drought, and we had smallpox, terrible winters, cholera. I buried more of my children than I raised. Aw. Sorry to hear that, sir. I've seen strong men wither and die under that unforgiving sun. That whole herd of cattle just take sick and die. But I've never once doubted my life here. No, sir. When I hear about this so-called federal government sending out agents to covertly murder and control people, then I start to worry. I mean, yeah, all right, Williamson is a menace, and men like him are the plague. But isn't a government agent a worse menace? And all that symbolizes, I mean. You may be right, sir. Well, you're a brave man. You're always going to be welcome here. But you tell your friends out east that we don't want to live like that out here. And sneaking around and spying and secret missions. Right? It's preposterous. <laughs> Trust me, sir. I agree with you. Good. Well, we won't insult you any further. Come on, Bonnie, we got things to do. Mr. Marston, do you want to join us? It's Daddy's favorite pastime. Apart from political <laughs> issues, that is. What is? Breaking in horses. Oh! <gasps> I hear you're a pretty decent rider. For a city dweller, that is. <laughs> <laughs> is he gonna teach me how to tame horses? Yes. Please. Please. Oh, I hope so. <gasps> and I finally got a last! Yes! Now I can, now I will feel comfortable doing bounties. Let's see Thank if we you. can put that new lasso of yours to good use. That ranch hand said there's a pack of wild horses nearby. <laughs> I'm so happy. It's not a Red Dead Redemption game without a lasso. What are you waiting for? Those horses won't hang around for long. Okay. Let me see it. Oh, there it is. Okay. Let's go. I can't wait. But I'm I'm getting attached to this horse though. Uh, oh, I can't change it up some now. Interesting theories on what the government's doing, sir. They ain't theories, Mr. Marston. I saw the telegram Marshall got from Blackwater. It ain't exactly a state secret it sent you. Well, is he wrong? I saw those men from the train. The government can go to hell if you ask me. Those sons of bitches and steal a coin off a dead man's eyes. Mr. Marston! He's right. Now, I don't know much about politics. Please, Paul, can we just enjoy but the I know ride? we're only as free as they say we are. Power's like a drink. The more you have, the more you want. The more you want. There's few men who can handle it. There's certain things in this country a woman could do much better if you ask me. I ain't gonna argue with that, Miss McFarland. Body for president. Ooh, there they are. There's the horses! Get that lasso ready! Come oh, on. it's ready! Whoa! I don't know which one I want! On. Which one do I want? Oh, I want this brown one. Woo! Hold the lassoed horse, okay. Dismount your horse and get the lasso. Okay, okay. Ride horse. Tell me what you got, boy! Oh my. Come on in, cowboy! Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, any day now. Any day now. Any day now. Oh, this brings me back. I 
got you now. You yeah! Look at that beaut. We gotta go mount this one. Get back on your own horse. Woo. I think that's the yeah. old timer like me. I think this will back to the ranch. See you later. Come on, cool. Mr. Marston. Let's rope another one. Okay. Yeah. Are there like any white for? Arabians? Black, full black stallions with the black mane and everything? I wonder what different Where types of horse we have here. Really pretty. Easy. Bring it on. Relax now. Nearly there. This isn't too bad. It's all right. I definitely thought it was harder in the second game. <laughs> Here we go. Calm down now. Ooh. Ooh, there it is. There. This horse has a nice butt. Nice oh. work. I think that'll do it for today. Let's get back cool. to Cool. That was fun. So now I'm assuming I can go. go out in the wild and tame wild horses. Get a new mount if I want one. I like your father. I'm glad. He's quite a character. You have a good life here. The life I want. For me and my family, I mean. We don't have a lot anymore. You have enough. It's one that gets so many folks in trouble. It'll sap your spirit and make you poor. But it's straight. And it's decent. There's no better night's sleep than after an honest day's work. It's no wonder you look so tired, then. <laughs> so that must be shy Joker, Ms. McFarlane. <laughs> I love their banter. Such a natural in busting Broncos. That was fun. I think you could be a fine rancher one day. If you can bear to stop killing people for a living. Sure. Jeez. I feel like he kills because he has to right now. I wonder what, that must be the stables. Well done, Mr. Marston. These are fine horses. Hey, Bonnie. Amos was saying some horses been spotted somewhere outside of Armadillo. Let's go, Mr. Marston. We can really do with those horses. I wonder if there's like really rare ones you can find. Come on, Mr. Marston. Let's head for Armadillo. Okay. You never did tell me why you were never married. Aside from the snobbery, that is. You sure ask a lot. I'm just surprised, <laughs> that's all. You must have been quite a catch. The fact that you're talking in the past says it all. No. That's not what I mean. I've some suitors. That's all I'm saying. Stick foot in Is mouth. <laughs> Here and there, a ranch in the middle of Hennigan's stead ain't really the place to find a husband. Amos, he's a little, well, you know, countryfied. Where'd you get your airs and graces, Miss McFarland? From a couple of cheap governesses Paul hired to save us from being savages. I'd like to talk about more than just cattle and chickens sometimes, that's all. And after my brother left, it was up to me to become the man of the ranch. He'd never admit it, but my paw's a lot frailer than he looks. You're worth two of any man I know, miss. I'll try to take that as a compliment. Oh, geez. <laughs> In many ways, my wife is kind of like you, Miss McFarland. Is that so? She's always been a woman in a man's world. I agree. You don't talk about her very much. It's kind of painful, but she's never far from my thoughts. There's my boys. Come on, Mr. Marston. They always were kind of rocky. Let's drive them up the canyon where it narrows. We'll trap them there. Whoa. Them. Okay. I'll see you there, miss. Oh, okay. Uh, don't get too close. Come. Oh, guide the herd toward the cannon. Oh, okay. Ooh, there's a... There's some really fun colors in there. Come on. Come on. Easy up now. 
There's one that looks like almost like a golden blonde. Re that one right there. That one's really pretty. Ooh, I kind of want that one. That one's mine. Let's go. Oh, and there's that um hanging tree rock again. Or the hanging rock, rather. You gotta go around? You will be mine. Yeah. too far. Way, way too far away. Oh no, it's getting away. Yo. Ah! We're turning so quickly! I'm here. Yeah. No, 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 I was so close. I'm here. There you are. That's it. That's it. You're mine now. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, baby. Watch out for that cactus. What are you doing? I got you. Here we go. That's it. Huh? It's all right. Hold on! Relax now. Nearly there. This one's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's like a beautiful cream color. <gasps> My horse is getting jealous. Peanut butter and jealous. I'm sorry, Gimli. I still love you. Come on. I still love you. I don't even... Oh, God. Gimli is pissed. I'm sorry. I take all that back. You're the cutest. I don't know if I can give up Gimli. I'm too attached now. We had a rocky start, but I love Thanks him. Thanks for your help today, Mr. Marston. We got some fine horses. You know, why don't you keep that stallion as your own? As a thank you from all of us. Thank you, ma'am. He's a fine animal. He sure is. Damn it. Sorry, Gimli. I got Legolas! Legolas! <laughs> We're keeping with the theme. Oh, yeah, that's it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Gimli who? What? Legolas is mine now. I'm sorry. Yeah. This, it's it. That's it. That's it. I am I am now attached. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. No. Like a loss is mine. Come on. No, Lego loss. This is not a good start to our friendship. It's okay, I forgive you. That was my fault. Okay, cool. Here it is. I figured since we're out here, we should follow up on this quest too. Pleasant's house. I've heard about this a couple times. Oh wait, we've been here. We were here at the very beginning of the game. I think I, I think I killed my first person up here where I could have spared them and I lost a hundred honor and good times, good times. This is private property. Not anymore. Howdy, friend. I didn't know anyone lived out here. Whoa. Whoa. Dude, chill. Now you can't rob the place now, can you? Now Looks get... like there's not much here anyway. You old bastard, ain't you? I don't need me no friends. 
friend. We all need friends, old timer. We die alone, but we live among men. True. You know, I was interested in moving out this way with my family. Would you be willing to sell me a parcel of land? We wouldn't even have to speak or nothing. Land's too dry for farming. Bandits run all the cattle off. Why you want this land? I guess Private. I just like the scenery. That too? Well, I don't know. Maybe for $200 I could give you the deed of this land, find myself a place up in Blackwater. You hustler? Jeez. Although I never could stand the people down there. No, sir. <laughs> pay for the deed or take it by force. Take it or leave it. I'm gonna pay I'm gonna pay for it. I'm gonna do the right thing. Here's two hundred dollars. Why don't you come back when you got the money? It's a bargain at twice the price. Well, son of a... Alright, I'll be on my way. I'll be back with the 200 doll hairs, okay? Damn. Everyone wants their cut. Oh, yes! I can't wait to follow up on Nigel. He was so funny. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I hope he's okay. <laughs> and I can tell you with no uncertainty that miracle cures are no laughing matter. I bid you good day, sir. Uh. <laughs> oh, Mr. Marston, good to see you. How have you been keeping? I'm well, Mr. Uh, Mr. West Dickens. Nigel West Dickens of East Cheap, London, New Waverly, New York, and Armadillo, New Austin. At your service. At my service. At everyone's service. At the service of science, of knowledge, of life. Uh, <laughs> how are your wounds? Hmm? Oh, oh, uh, much, much better. But then they would be. Mm -hmm. Would be. I know a cure for all ailments, Mr. Marston. Ah, I'm sure you do. And I'm sure for just $2 an ounce, I could live forever. Mm -hmm. Oh, but for you, sir, I do a bulk discount rate of one ninety-five an ounce. <laughs> as long as you buy a hundred ounces or more, that's a <laughs> lot of immortality. Oh, uh, give it up, old man. That's Mr. West Dickens to you, boy. Give it up, old man. <laughs> uh, listen, Marston, I'm broke, but this stuff is good. It works. I need a healthy young man like you. <laughs> Come along. Let's ride over to my newest customer at Ridgewood and no. I'll explain while we go. No. Bad idea. Okay. <laughs> Not putting anything in my mouth. All right, John. Let us make haste for Ridgewood Farm. Nope. I will not be the guinea pig. I heard about you, Mr. West Dickens. And I about you, John Marston. Hoodwinking the weak, gullible out of their hard-earned money. My dear boy, it is you who is gullible, if I may be so bold, for heeding such ill-informed scuttle. You're as full of wind as a horse with the collar. I have been blessed with the gift of language, and for that I will not apologize. But the West Dickens elixirs speak for themselves. My thousands of happy customers attest to that. Those men trying to kill you didn't look so happy. Skepticism is the faster child of progress, John. Knowledge makes a fool into a doubting Thomas. It's the cross I bear as a pioneer in the fields of commerce and medical research. If my tonic is such a sham, how do you explain the fine battle in which you find me? Last time you saw me, I was knocking at death door. You should thank the doctor for that. I reckon you were acting it up worse than it was. <laughs> Act I can, John. A more convincing old fellow there has never been. And so shall you, a fair Iago or Cassio, make. I don't like the sound of this. <laughs> Showmanship, John. The flourish. The bow. Ooh. In a competitive marketplace, our product must stand out. And how does this involve me? 
we're going to use your God-given talents to our advantage. Really and my good looks. I'll drop you off at the outskirts of Ridgewood. That way, it won't look like we came together. Once I'm set up, saunter nonchalantly into the cloud that is sure to be formed. Eventually, right. I'll call you up to try my tonic. After extolling the virtues, mm -hmm. I will have you perform a few feats of wonder to amaze and impress the king. Such as? Oh, nothing out of the ordinary for a man in your line of work, I assure you. So it is all a sham. No, no, just a little innocent ballyhoo to grease the wheels of enterprise, that's all. Do you think that buxom young girl you see on the Voyage camera posters knows the first thing about photography? Advertising, my boy, is the future. You'd best be a man of your word. I didn't want to cut him off too early. You hop out here, John. Follow me in on foot. Sounds good. See you shortly, and remember, showmanship. Mm-hmm. Right. We're about to scam some people. I don't know how I feel about that. But every single time you ride a wagon over the train tracks, it sounds like it's gonna break in half. It's so violent. <laughs> Should I ride my horse in casually? <gasps> Legolas? Is it Legolas? It's not Legolas. Why are you not Legolas? Where's Legolas? Did I not put, like, my saddle on the horse or something? Let's go! I don't know what happened and now I'm really sad about it. <laughs> go! No! R.I.P. Legolas! Gone too soon. Good to see you all, my friends. Prepare to be amazed. Friends, hardworking souls of uh, Chola Springs, gather round, gather round. Do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, <laughs> acute chronic sciatic? Uh, uh, <laughs> Uncle. Uncle comes out of nowhere. I Me? I represent the only company that makes the genuine article that cures headaches, neuralgia, uh, earache, toothaches, backaches, swellings, sprains, sore chests, swelling of the throats, contracted cords and muscles, anxieties and ravaged nerves, stiff joints, wrenches, dislocations, cuts and bruises, and it adds vitality and vigor to the healthy man. Mm. <laughs> Any old man? Oh, I'm sure there's some customer here who could prove the qualities of its by... Take a drink right now. Huh. You, sir, come up here. Step right up. Yep. Who, me? That's the spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, pay close attention. This poor, wretched volunteer, entirely unknown to me, will mm -hmm. demonstrate the effects of Dr. West Dickens' own patent tonic. Be you a cowpoke or athlete, this miraculous elixir developed with the wisdom of the East keeps the muscles supple and relaxes the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of youth and vigor to the whole system. Not possible, I hear you say. Well, doubt no longer. Faith can move mountains, but I ask not for faith. I am a man of science, and today, science will be vindicated. Your eyesight is greatly improved, is that not so, friend? Mm hmm If you say so. That's right, it is. <laughs> you heard him. What a good sport you are, sir. Now, gaze over yonder at that porch. If you squint, you may just be able to make out the skull that's hanging there. Okay. Go Shoot ahead, it. friend. Shoot that skull and demonstrate the miraculous eyesight you now possess. You're crazy. Or is this how I get dead eye? Is this actually how I get dead eye though? Move, Gimli! 
I hope I uh, don't miss. Do not I, keep the crowd You can't. Waiting. Don't rush perfection. Remarkable! The eyesight of an eagle. Granted by imbibing Dr. Westicken's own... Is it called Eagle Eye? Anybody no, can make that shit. Did I? This man is a fraud. If your eye's so damn sharp, why don't you try shooting my hat out of the air? <laughs> Our <gasps> test case has been challenged to shoot a gentleman's hat out of the sky above our heads. You can fool these people, but you ain't fooling me. Mm-hmm. Right. Let's just see how sharp you is with a moving target. Okay. Steady yourself, stranger. Okay. Uh, uh, sure. I thought we was here this evening. Such an eye. Behold the power of elixir. Look out of the sky. Hey, hey. What? what? You think you can put a hole in a man's hat and just walk away, do you? They don't work like that around here, mister. Come on. Are you a man or not? A challenge of battle has been offered to our volunteer. Prepare for a display of Herculean brawn. This is about to get ugly, pal. Oh, it got ugly. To ground tackle your opponent. When prompted, oh. When prompted, tackle him. Gotcha. for a man. Skeptics and dissenters, irrefutable proof. Do not let this opportunity pass you by. Now he's gonna, he's gonna want to shoot out. Go get it. Watch out! He's got a gun. Who the hell do you think you are? Yep. You ain't leaving here alive. Oh, shoot the gun out of his hand. Oh, hey, marvelous shot, dear boy. The kind of deadly accuracy that can only be afforded by the West Dickens elixir. Come, Yikes. I have plenty for all. They're all chugging it. No harm in trying one bottle. <laughs> well, I think that went kind of well, don't you? Hmm. I'm just glad that my normal job involves either chasing after cattle or murderers. Not the likes of you, mister. Don't be like that. Now, <laughs> if you'll excuse me, I'd like to say my goodbyes, head on back to the real world. Uh, 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 wait, sir. I, I've been thinking. About I need you. And uh, I think I may have an idea. I've been thinking I could be your cunning Odysseus. Beware of the Greeks burying gifts, sir. Mm -hmm. Williamson had better beware. We will make them into Trojans. I don't rightly get you. I want you to go and see my old friend, Seth. Uh, he can come across as a little curious, but I'm sure you two will get on. Uh, he's uh, most often found at Coots Chapel. He's very devout. I think I've heard him. of that place. Because I think we've been there. And me, we can get those gates to open for you, and you can walk right in, just like in Homer's great Trojan yarn. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Nigel's so funny. Meet Seth in Coots Chapel. Ooh, yeah. I'm pretty sure we got to visit Coots Chapel in the last game. And I want to say that there was like a treasure hunt there as well. I definitely know there was something hidden there because I, I specifically went looking for that place. So that's cool. It'll be fun to revisit it. Alrighty, guys, that's where I'm going to end this episode of Red Dead Redemption. First off, RAP to Legolas and... I am so devastated by that. I don't know what I had to do. Maybe I missed a prompt. Maybe I had to take it back to the stables at Bonnie McFarland's ranch. I'm not really sure. Maybe I also had to move the saddle from my original horse to the new horse, but I didn't know where my other horse was. I don't know, I'm gonna have to look into that because I definitely want my Legolas back. I don't know, maybe I'm just meant to stick with Gimli. I have no idea. I love them all and it's really hard because I always get attached to virtual animals, especially my mounts, especially any, any, 
animal companions that come along with us. No, I think I want Legolas back. That was a beautiful horse. I keep going in between the two. It's gonna be really hard. I'm gonna need to sleep on this. I think it's clear where my true priorities lie here. But anyway, this has been such a fun ride. We finally got all the features that is so reminiscent of a Red Dead Redemption game. We finally got the lasso. We finally got Deadeye. And I think going forward into the game now, it's going to start getting really good with the story. Anyway, thank you guys so much again for watching. This is such a such a blast. I'm so glad to be back in the world of Red Dead Redemption, but it has been such a blast getting to play as John Marston again as well. And I was right. I did have the chance to look it up earlier, but the voice actor for John Marston is Rob Whitehoff. And again, going back to the fun fact that I mentioned earlier, he was the first ever cameo that I was sent and I literally sobbed my eyes out. You can go check that video. It's on my channel somewhere. I'll try to remember to leave it up here as a card in the top right hand corner here. It's worth a watch. It, it was such a magical experience for me. I will never forget that moment. Hearing his voice come out of his face, out of his human face, was surreal for me and I, I could not hold back the tears. I just instant sobbing but me crying no never doesn't happen i don't know what you're talking about trust me if i didn't have something going on in a little bit i would still be here probably recording yet another episode of this game because i'm so addicted to it right now i loved the second game but compared to that one i just love how simplistic and straightforward this one is if you guys enjoyed this episode please make sure to leave a thumbs up on the video subscribe to the channel and click the bell button as well to get notified for the next one and i apologize in advance for all of the obsessive tweeting about this game that I will be doing. But if you guys want to hear about it, make sure to follow me there as well. Alrighty guys, I'll let you go. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you guys next time.